Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode. Today we will discuss about research problem or problem statement. Definition of research problem. A problem statement is a description of an issue to be addressed. The very important point. Issue to be addressed or a condition to be improved on. So, you must focus on these two points. Issue to be addressed. There is a some issue. Issue can be issue of productivity, issue of efficiency, issue, uh, issue can be in marketing, any other issue. And there is a condition and you want to improve that condition. So, two points. Issue to be addressed or a condition to be improved. It identifies the gap between the current problem state and desired goal. So, the main highlighting word is gap. So, what is your target and what efficiency is being given by your employees? So, you have to check both levels. That is current problem. Right now, what workers are producing and then what they must produce, the desired goals. So, in between, there is a gap. And this gap is actually our research problem. How to write problem statement? There are four main points. Number one is context. You have to go through, you have to understand and work out about available information means ground reality. What is going on? When it was started? Where they reached? And what is yeah, and what is their today's efficiency or productivity? Number two point, precise issue. You have um, found that uh, there is some target points and actual performance and you are seeking the information of the gap actually and you are collecting information accordingly. Number three is relevance. So, if you have, uh, uh, if you have calculated to investigate some issue, so information should be about that issue, not any other issue. So, it will become a clutter and we have to avoid cluttering of information. Finally, the objectives. So, you have done all this homework. You have done this research. You have checked all the past uh, performance and uh, the current status and uh, the analysis of the issues. So, what would you like to do? So, these are the objectives which you will write down in your problem statement. So, if you will start writing, there are three points. Number one point is the ideal goal or ideal situation, the current scenario, current condition or situation of a task, what you are looking for, the reality. So, so, the, so what was the target and what really workers are producing and finally what kind of recommendations you will give to overcome that deficiency prevailing in the system so this is the example for example there is a factory and uh, workers have been given a target of 100 pieces production per day but actually they are producing 70 pieces so this is the ideal situation reality is that target is 100 pieces they are producing 70 pieces and there is a gap of 30 pieces workers are behind the target and there is a gap of 30 pieces per day this is reality the consequence in consequence, recommendation for research to find out the reason of low efficiency and productivity. 
and possible solutions to overcome the productivity problem will be highlighted. You can't be much specific at this stage, but you will give some idea that how will you cover that gap and how the efficiency of the workers can be enhanced to the target point. So, so if I'm talking about efficiency and productivity, so it is very much clear that uh, it can be because of training, it can be because of uh, technology, but they are working on the old technology. So all this issue has to be addressed accordingly. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you have any comment, please write it down.